Welcome back to the Value Investors Club. Welcome back to VIC Readings. I'm your host, Simon Wunderlich. Let's get right into it with Infrastructure Wireless Italian SPAINW filed in on September 30th by Esther. Price at that time was $8.97. This is not advice. Please do your own diligence before investing in any stock. Summary. Inuit is the largest cell towers player in Italy. Approximately 85% of sales are derived from its two anchor tenants, Vodafone, VOD, and Telecom Italia, TIM, and the long-term inflation-linked contracts. Trading at 8%, 24 recurring uh, FCF yield. The stock is attra attractively priced. I'm sorry. Furthermore, in a briskly consolidating European towers landscape, I INW screens as a potential, if not probable, takeout candidate. Business overview. Invit is the number one cell tower operator in Italy, controlling about 23,000 towers. The number two player is CLNX, and the two combined control over 90% of the Italian towers market. INW has established in April 2015 following TIM's decision to carve out its Italian towers into a new and separate entity. This was followed by an, followed by an IPO process with, with INWIT shares listing on stock exchanges in June, uh, June, 25, June 2015. I'm sorry. Note, IPO share price was $3.65. In March 2020, INW merged with the tower assets of Vodafone Italy. Investment thesis. The core points of the long INW thesis include INW is the number one tower player in Italy, 23,000 towers and sixth largest player in Europe. 85% of revenue comes from master service agreements with TIM and Vodafone. These are some of the best contracts in the global tower space as the contracts are linked one-to-one -to, -one to Italian CPI, which is running plus 9% now. So Escalator is equal to 100% CPI with a 0% floor. Contracts are A plus 8 in duration. Rough rule of thumb, 1% one pl uh, plus inflation equals uh, more than 5 million EBITDA AL. Change in shareholder structure. VTWR, VOD's Taos business, owns 33% of the equity. TIM has been selling down their INW stake over the last couple of years as their balance sheet is a mess. They now own 3% versus 30% two years ago. A PE consortium led by Ardian has completed two INW equity purchases, both of which were TIM sales, bringing their stake to 27%. 2020 bought 50% at $9.50 a share. August 2022 bought $12 at $10.75 a share, about 20% higher than where shares trade. Than where shares trade today. Given TIM selling down their stake, INW CEO and several board members resigned in August and uh, resigned in August when the last Ardian transaction was completed. While this does not seem like a big deal, it is something worth highlighting as a new CEO is set to be named in October. INW's fundamentals are very good. Management raised a short to mid term guidance over Q2 thanks to higher Italian CPI. At the same time, management lowered growth assumptions related to Lyot, a customer they have an ongoing, have an ongoing dispute with. Re remedy sides by lowering Lyot related growth assumption. This threat to guidance has been mitigated. INW will fall below their target targeted net leverage range in 23 and will likely do some sort of capital return to shareholders. Based on conversation with their management team, we believe they are likely to do a special dividend as opposed to buyback, as they don't want to decrease trading liquidity in the stock. Overall, total diversification in 23 could amount to 10% of market cap. Probably dividends, I'm oh, sorry. European Towers is a quickly consolidating industry, and INW is a clear takeout target. 
in conversations with management, we could categorize INW as much more of a seller than a buyer right now. Moreover, their actions speak to this view. As the company hasn't done much M&A since the 20 merger and their commentary indicates that not much is on the plate today. Lots of dominoes have been falling in European towers over the past couple of years, including Telia sold towers to BAM for 28x EV EBITDA closed in June 22. Ju uh, July 22, Deutsche, Deutsche Telekom sold a controlling stake in its tower biz GD Towers to BAM DBRG for 27x. VOD owns 87% of VTWR and is looking to potentially sell down their stake to 51%. KKR, GIP and others have been rumored to be bidding now. Totem, owned by ORA.FP, is in the process of figuring out what they will do with their towers. The strategic timeline is somewhat murky. However, outside of Totem, uh, there does not appear to be an asset that is sizable as INW that can be bought in Europe NA and a likely totem deal probably would not be done for a controlled stake. Who buys INW? VTWR seems like the most likely candidate. The VTWR management has expressed that they like the asset and that they are not looking to divest their 33% stake and would consider consolidating it entirely. PE Uh, notably, Arian, though, could also include numbers of players such as BAM, GIP, KKR, etc. AMT been getting more active in Europe, and I and W is an asset that could make sense for them. Valuation is cheap to comps in Europe, US. Trades at 15x, 24 EV EBITDA adjusted for leases, see below, or 8%, 24 recurring for cash flow. While we don't think INW would get a 27 to 28 EV EBITDA multiple and takeout scenario, given that it's an Italian asset, despite the fact it has great contra contracts, contracts, I'm sorry, the asset should still fetch a healthy multiple and a takeout scenario. That said, even at 20x multiple yields, um, 13 to 14 dollars. 13 to 14 a share in takeout target. This range also equates to 5% to 5.5%, 24 recurring free cash flow yield, which feels fair. And with a big regard special dividend, uh, with a big reg special dividend, likely uh, coming next year, 90 cents a share downside is somewhat protected and could also and could act as a potential catalyst for a buyer to step up to play it before capital is returned. Key risks, potential for consolidation from four to three mobile players in Italy could hamper the growth outlook. RAN, active networks, i.e. antenna sharing. European bond yields keep rallying. Small sales and DAS. Catalyst 23 capital return plans. Iliad Res resolution and takeout. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next.